Last time on the Sojo Fangirl, we had episode 4 of Escafalone, where Meryl the cat girl is brought to Alan's ship in bad shape. She relays the story of the destruction of Fantalia to its king, Van. The kingdom is completely destroyed and burned to the ground by a force of invisible mechs. These invisible mechs track down Alan's castle and destroy it as well. Thankfully, Alan and crew were able to escape on his airship. Join me today as I react to episode 5 of Escaflone. Stay tuned. Dan is being pursued by these invisible mechs. Or the mechs that can't be invisible. It's pretty cool that the Escaflone is a dragon. That's cool. Oh my gosh. He's kind of having trouble controlling the dragon part, but I guess it's because of the wind. Oh, it went back to normal mode. I hate when these like mechs go like invisible. That nose design has grown on me. I'm starting to like it now. At first I didn't at all, to be honest. Oh no! I don't like this guy here. He's so smug. <laughs> oh, I don't like him at all. This is like not even cool because Fan is basically being like held up. That's not fun. You were like punching him. The seal of the brothers. Again, I don't like that guy. I was just having a little fun abusing him. I was like, that's not fun. <laughs> Here we have Hatomi. You know, everybody's worried about Van, of course. I'm so glad they're gonna, like, get him back. They're like, don't worry, we're gonna get Van back. And I'm like, yeah! So we completely forgot in Amano, but that makes sense given everything that's already happened so far. And Hitomi's like, might be able to help you find Van. It's like, I didn't guess on that, like, I, I had a vision and that's why I knew, so... is very sweet, but that's kind of patronizing too, right? I can help you. Well, you know, this is a job for the guys, so you might want to, like, just, you know, stand back. And she's like, listen, I can help you, so can I prove to you that I can help you? I love this animation. Oh my gosh, I love these colors, especially those 
dark deep blues. Gosh. Contrasting yellow is really nice against those dark deep blues. So, it captured the Escaflone. And this is the trigun looking dude that he's talking to. Then the then the room. Is that how you say the purple guy's name's hair? Hair. Name. <laughs> and the guy can open the escaflona. He can touch it. What is what is that about? Only specific people can do that, right? Poor Van. I guess the guy's name is Tortigas, is what the other guy calls him. Um, I really like the way he like dresses, but you know, that's a small thing. So we have a fortune meeting between Hitomi and Alan. And everybody's like, I wanna see this, I wanna see what's what's this gonna be like. Poor Alan. It's been through a lot. If what you're saying is like true, then why would you have to convince him? I don't know. Oh, she's so nervous. She's like, don't, don't look at me like that, man. I'm just, I'm just telling you what I know. <laughs> of course, he doesn't want her to get too deep into his, like, past, which is understandable. <laughs> Fan is waking up. That's the big trigun looking dude. I always say trigun because that's what he reminds me of, except he doesn't have blonde hair and he's not as cool. But that's just my opinion, so. Man's like, uh-uh, I'm going to defend myself, homie. Yeah. Wait, don't do that. Okay. Guys, like, let me show you something. Oh my gosh, she has wings. And it's Fan's brother! I knew it. I knew it was gonna be something like that from the last episode. I just did.
So what does the necklace do, per se? Please let me know in the comments below if you know what Hatomi's necklace really does in this episode, or in general. It's hard to like find out your brother is working for the enemy and he was totally fine with destroying the kingdom that you shared with him. And then his, his brother is like, hey, you can come work with us. And he's like, no, why would I even do that? Oh no, what is that? He knocked him out. He put, he injected some kind of like, I guess, sleeping agent into him and knocked him out. Or oh, it's that mole guy. Wow. He sleeps real good, that mole guy. Meryl is being very helpful, so that's good. I love the way every every character is drawn. Even the noses once again have grown on me. It's just good art. Oh, poor Hitomi is tired. I must... Yeah. She found out where they are, and that must take a lot out of them, so... So the guy's name is not Stratigos. It's Falcon. Van's brother. Oh no. Oh wait, never mind. That's fine. <laughs> I thought the other guys had found like Alan in them. No, Alan found Van. Oh wow. They have the you know, they had to hold on to their lives like I had to hold on to my, like, for their life when I was riding the bus in Korea. Like, if you do not hold on to something, you will fall over. <laughs> like, because some people love to drive fast in buses in Korea. And that's okay, as long as you know what you're doing, right? Just have to hold on for dear life. I love how Alan just takes charge here. It's so nice. Like he's been doing it for years. Uh, he probably has, but I just like the way that he does that. And they're all very brave. They're just like, charge! Wow. 
and the mole dude's like, hey, I'm just gonna help myself to this stuff. You know, y'all can fight, it's okay. Alan is real good at fighting, oh my god. He takes charge, he's good at fighting. Meryl's like, where are you going? Oh. Good. Alan has come to rescue Van. Um, like I said, Hatomi's like, I gotta warn Van. I can't let anything happen to him. Oh my gosh, what is she gonna do? What is she gonna do? What is she gonna do, homie? I'm like Meryl right now. What are you doing? She took off her like jacket part of the uniform. It's like, I'm gonna jump it. <laughs> You're gonna do what? But she, she's a high jumper, isn't she? So. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <gasps> wow, how is she doing that though? That's crazy. Wow, that's a good landing. <laughs> good job, Hitomi. Because the... If you didn't do that, it wouldn't have been good. But she did a good job. Using those uh, running skills to good use. That's track star skills. And then that's his brother. Yeah, that is Van's brother. The try gun looking dude. I'm confused. Did he just give Van his sword? Like Van's sword? Oh my gosh! Why is that guy so bloodthirsty? Ooh, that's a nice, that's a nice, um, strike. He got him in the face. That's a deep cut, bro. Oh my gosh. guys like my face <laughs> which I guess you would be if somebody like went well, like this up your face with a sword yeah they're like okay we got what we needed let's get out of here that's a pretty sweet looking airship too it kind of looks like something out of like outlaw star but that's just how I feel That guy's like, you cut my face, and I'm coming after you. <laughs> I was like, like you were the one who attacked him. So, Fan's brother's like, I want you to stand by my side, and someday you will. It's like, ah, nah, bro. <laughs> so they're all back together. Yay! Mission accomplished.
Hatomi is jealous of Meryl. I don't know, like, who does Hatomi like? She likes Amano, and then she likes Alan, and then she kind of low-key likes Van, but not really. And that's the end of the episode. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this episode. It was really good. There was a lot of action going on. I knew that that big tall guy was Van's brother after I watched episode four. I was like, it has to be. Like, it has to be. All the clues are there. I hope you enjoyed this reaction because I always enjoy making these reactions for you all. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to everybody who stuck around. And I appreciate that. I really appreciate you subscribing and watching my videos and staying around and sticking with me and spending time with me. Last time on the Sojo Fangirl, we had episode 4 of Escaflone, where Meryl the Cat Girl was brought to Van's. Not Van. It's Alan's castle. No! <laughs> that wasn't the case, man. It just wasn't. <laughs>